10 men can finish a piece of work in 15 days, 8 women can finish the same piece of work in 25 days, right? So 10 men can finish it in 15 days and 8 women, 8 women can finish it in 25 days, okay? Only 10 women started working and in a few days completed a certain amount of work. So it says 10 women have started working and in a few days they have done some amount of work. After that, three men joined them and the remaining work was completed by 10 women and three men together in five days. So after how many days did three men join 10 women? Are you able to follow? So for the first few days, there were only 10 women. If you say this is the total work, if you say this is the total work, for the first few days, there were only 10 women, right? Let's say they were there for uh, N days. And after that, three men joined them. Ten women and three men have joined them. They have completed the remaining work. What is the remaining work? In five days. So we have to find out what is the value of n. After how many days did these three men join ten women? Now for that to happen, first of all, we should know. See, usually what happens, how much of work is completed is given to us. But here that's not given, right? It only says that ten women started working and in a few days, they have completed a certain amount of work. But how much? work exactly is not known to us but what can be exactly determined is the remaining work this is the remaining work right this is the remaining work right this is the remaining work so we can definitely find out how much is the remaining work done by 10 women and 3 men in 5 days do that once you find out the remaining work done by these people you will know how much was done by 10 women in n days and once you know that this is the amount of work done by 10 women in n days you can find out the number of days of course, these values are given to us. So you have to use these values to find out the answer. Clear? So how do we do it? See, if it, it is like this. If 8 women can finish the work in 25 days, how much work will 10 women do in 5 days? And similarly, if 10 men can do a piece of work in 15 days, how much work will they, uh, 3 men do in 5 days? Are you able to follow? So we can say, uh, it, is, it is like this. Let us assume 8 women can do a piece of work in 25 days. So W by, let's, let us say this is WM, work done by women, plus work done by men, right? So W by WW, how do you calculate? 8 into 25 divided by 10 into 5. So how much will that be? 8 into 25 is 20, uh, 200, this is 50. So they'll do one fourth of the work are able to follow why right 50 by 200 is one fourth one fourth of the work similarly uh, the total work done by the work done by men total work can be done by men 10 men in 15 days but here we have only three men and they work for five days so this gets cancelled we can say the work done by men is equals to one tenth of the total work which means the remaining work Right, which implies the remaining work. You don't have to write all these steps. I'm explaining in detail. You can just play with numbers to arrive at the answer, right? So one fourth of the work plus one tenth of the work. Are you able to follow? How much is the remaining work? One fourth plus one tenth. So simplify this. How much will it be? This will be like let's say 20 is LCM. So five plus two, seven by 20. Seven by 20 is the remaining work, right? Implies the initial work. will be equal to 1 minus 7 by 20, which is 13 by 20. This is the remaining work and this is the initial work. This is initial work. Okay. So initial work was 13 by 20. Now this 13 by 20 was done by whom? 10 women in n days. So simplify now. Again, use the same thing. Ten, 8 women can do the total work in 25 days. Right? W by initial work. Right? You are getting it. Total work W by initial work is equal to what? Uh, is equal to W by initial work is how much? 13 W by 20. Which is equal to the total work can be done by 8 women in 25 days. This work was done by 10 women in how many days? 10 into N. Simplify. So what happens? W anyway gets cancelled. We get 20 by 13 equals to 8 into 25, 200 by 10 into n, which implies n is equal to 13. Option B.